Hi guys, welcome to my channel and to my Easter video. These may not be staying on for the entire video because they tend to go out of shot when I move, so it may end up being more practical to just take them off. Now, last Easter, I really went for it with my videos. I had my whole series of finding the best hot cross bun. Still have nightmares about that, guys, almost a year on. Um, and I also did a couple of other Easter videos. This year, I'm just doing one because Easter eggs, they're getting more and more expensive. I mean, it is starting to get totally ridiculous. And I'm a small channel and I've got a lot of other stuff going on in my life other than YouTube, but that does not mean I am letting YouTube slide. Oh no, I am still putting as much effort, if not more, into the videos I produce as I did previously. This year for Easter, I thought I would get all the cream egg sized filled eggs I could and do a taste test to find out which one I think is the best. I've managed to get 10 eggs. Galaxy stopped doing theirs a few years ago now and I'm gutted because their truffle egg and their Galaxy caramel egg were divine. But I've gone for every egg I could get. There is a vegan egg in there. And I've gone for it even if it's an egg, which I think I'm gonna hate. I'm actually gonna take the ears off now and get on with the taste test. I am gonna have to start with the egg I am completely dreading. <sighs> Reese's peanut butter. If you don't know by now, I can't stand peanut butter. Even the smell of it makes me feel sick. And the thought of eating this, it's not a pleasant one, but as I've said in previous taste tests, comparison videos, it's not fair if I exclude products just because, in my opinion, it's not fair to exclude products just because I think I won't like them. Who knows, maybe, maybe I'm gonna love peanut butter. It does smell like peanut, but you'd expect that, right? The things I do for you guys, you had better be subscribed if you're not, if you're watching me doing this. Thick chocolate. Quite salty. I thought I was gonna have to spit that out, but I actually didn't, which means it's not as horrendous as I thought. I think because the chocolate is so thick, it tones down the peanut flavor and there is a big gap where the peanut butter is. Personally, I would not have it again. I don't like it but it's not so disgusting that I couldn't eat it. However, I have absolutely no desire to ever eat it again. And I don't like to waste food, but I don't think I'll be eating the rest of this one. The next up, another one I'm not sure about, Hershey's Cookies and Cream Egg. I don't really like Hershey's chocolate. Um, I think it's the sour milk they make it with that just gives it that weird flavour. However, I might like this. They are all about the same size, um, which is good. I'm not giving prices because they can vary depending on where you get them from and if they're part of a like three for two offer or whatever. It definitely has that Oreo kind of smell to it. You definitely do not want to be trying to eat this if you've got dentures in. That was so tough to bite through. The inside is really sweet, like super, super sweet. And coming from me, 
That means it's probably off the scale sweet because I do have a very sweet tooth. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I wouldn't have it again. It's too sweet. It does have that cookies and cream flavor. And it's that really, really sweet cream flavor. And because there is so much of it, it's just, it's too rich. So that, it's not as bad as Reese's, but it's not great. I will try the Cadbury Oreo cookies and cream egg following on from Hershey's. It's much, much less sweet and you can actually detect the crunchy cookie pieces with the Hershey's, and that's them side by side just for comparison. The cream was so sweet. That's really all I was getting. The milk chocolate plus the fact there's not quite as much cream filling makes this a much nicer egg in my opinion. So at the moment, this is the one to beat. I think I'm just going to go in for the classic cream egg now. I know this can be quite divisive. Some people love them. Some people hate them. I'm somewhere in the middle. I find that the fondant inside can be really sweet. And I know there have been people who have said they would love to have like a full size egg filled with the cream fondant. But I guarantee those people, you would be feeling sick before you'd got even halfway through it. You might like the idea of it, but in reality, you probably wouldn't. That's kind of what I think guys think when they think about dating me. Nice, thick Cadbury milk chocolate. The fondant is quite gooey, but it is, as I said, incredibly sweet. So I'm going to put this below the Oreo egg because it's just a bit too sweet for me. I'm now going to move on to the vegan egg, which I've never seen before, but I found this in the range and it's a Chucky egg. Uh, I think it's just milk chocolate, but I can't actually tell because of the way it's wrapped. Half the writing is hidden, but it looked like the right kind of egg and I thought it'd be fun to include. So. Oh my God, I'm not expecting that. It's like a less sweet version of a cream egg. And the chocolate is a lot more bitter. And the fondant, there's not as much of it in as you get in the cream egg. Um, it's a very sweet fondant still, but I think because there's less of it and the chocolate is more bitter, it isn't as sweet. So I would actually put this in second place so far. I'm now going to move on to Lindor eggs and start with their milk chocolate one. They used to do a little chick one, which was milk chocolate with a white chocolate filling, but as with Galaxy, they have been discontinued, at least in the UK, as far as I can tell. What's not to love? Unless, of course, you don't like milk chocolate. It's got that lovely creamy chocolatey filling and the harder chocolate shell. It's very rich, very creamy, but not super sweet. I like this better than the Oreo egg, but I would say that's probably not surprising. Kids would probably prefer the Oreo egg because of how rich this one is, but I might be wrong. I wouldn't want to give lint to a three-year-old. So I've got three Cadbury's eggs and one more lint one. So I think I'll go for the Cadbury caramel egg now. In previous years, I would have said this was my favorite because it's chocolate filled with caramel. 
my idea of heaven. But there are some new comers this year, so things could change. It's so good. The caramel is on the thicker side, so it's not super runny. It's not super sweet either. And it goes so well with the milk chocolate. Mm. I actually do prefer this to the Lindor egg. And I know I probably shouldn't because Lindor is hard quality chocolate. But, you know, sometimes you just got to admit that you are a basic bitch. And number one for me so far. So the first newcomer to the table, or maybe it should be the nest, is the white Cadbury's cream egg. Now, I thought this sounded like the most horrendous idea possible because take the sweetest type of chocolate and add that sweet fondant filling. If I think a normal cream egg is sickly, what on earth am I gonna make of this? Well, we shall find out. I actually prefer that. I think the fondant is different. It looks to be a lot runnier in the milk chocolate egg than it does in the white chocolate one. It definitely doesn't taste as sweet. It is still a very sweet egg, but the sweetness with it is coming more from the chocolate than the filling, whereas this way it's the other way around. I do prefer this to this, but I still rate the Cadbury Caramel Egg as my number one and then my number two. Cadbury's Salted Caramel Egg. Now, I like caramel and I don't really care if it's salted or not. So I'm excited to see what I think of this. Runnier than the other one, but not much. The saltiness is there, but it's not strong. I think you would know if you blind taste tested that this was a salted caramel egg versus a normal caramel egg. But I prefer the normal caramel egg because it's sweeter. I think this is my number two, so that means that the Lindor one goes down to third place. I have a feeling this could be a somewhat controversial ranking, but another newbie, the Lindor salted caramel egg. And I thought I'd better save this one for last. It's nice, but I prefer the eggs with the actual caramel rather than this sort of creamy caramel flavoured filling. It's not as obviously salted as I'd expected it to be, but I do think this one is going to take third place. So my number one is the Cadbury's caramel egg. My number two is the Cadbury's salted caramel egg. And my number three is the lint salted caramel egg. Bit of a theme there. However, the Oreo and the white cream egg and the Lindor egg are all really, really good. I wouldn't bother with Reese's or Hershey's. The vegan one's nice, but if you're not vegan, it is a bit more pricey or at least it was when I bought it. But it is good that there is a vegan alternative out there for those who want it. So that's my roundup of eggs. I have stupidly not put them on anything except straight onto my glass table. That was a really bad idea. I'm gonna have to do some cleaning up, but thank you for watching. Happy Easter. Comment below, let me know 
what you think your favourite would be. And I hope to see you for the next one. Bye.